My name is Aisa and I am here today to share my spinal CSF leak story. As a consultant engineer, I uh, have to travel places for my different projects. I have to climb uh, ladders, uh, walk on even surfaces and be at different places with unexpected conditions. And all that got interrupted by this spinal CSF leak. One day out of the blue, I started with this tachycardia. I went to the doctor, um, they checked my heart, they told me to stop caffeine, and they gave me some beta blockers. Um, the tachycardia got better, but the headache was evident for whatever reason, and it just got worse. Talking to the doctor, he did not like it, so he sent me to the neurologist. They took an MRI, an MRA, um, they were normal. So after my neurologist uh, diagnosed me with migraine headaches, um, he prescribed different medications. There were nerve blocks, there were IV infusions, there were gland blocks, there were steroids. I mean, you name it. I think I, I tried every drug out there for, uh, to control migraines and the bottom line, nothing was working. The headaches were not your typical headache. Um, I, I would get a headache the moment that I woke up until I went to bed. There was one day that I couldn't get out of bed. Finally, I got to my current neurologist and um, after she listened carefully for my symptoms and made her evaluation, she diagnosed me with a spinal CSF leak. My diagnosis was five years after my symptoms started. I was not suffering from migraines. When the doctor gave me my diagnosis, I was thinking, how could five neurologists have missed this for five years? And all these feelings are going, it's anger, it's frustration, relief, and at the same time, worry. That was very short period because in seconds, my doctor was telling me that they, they, this illness that I had was treatable and curable. After my diagnosis, my doctor recommended that I got a, an epidural blood patch on my lower back and that did not work. After that, I got what is called a targeted blood patch and that blood patch was successful. For the first time in five years, I was headache free. And that continued the same way for about two days, two or three days. And then I was diagnosed with a common side effect um, from the condition, which is called intracranial hypertension, which is treated and commonly very easily managed uh, by medication. Uh, I'm still taking that medication. Uh, I'm not 100% back to normal or to my baseline, but I'm, I'm definitely much better and getting there. I was hesitant, but I returned to work uh, first on a part-time basis. Eventually, I went back working full-time, doing exactly the same work that I was doing, traveling and going to site visits. Regardless of how difficult this illness is, you can get better, you can get your life back. It takes a lot, a lot of patience, a lot of perseverance, and a lot of work, but you can get there.